library and stuff with your girlfriend or something like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Is that was that kind of your version of fun or? Um, yeah, well, to me, I'm not really a party person. I'm not really a. Um, I'm really focused. I I would say. Um, fun to me is you know spending time with family, spending time with friends, but just in a, in a productive way, whether that's. Uh, you know, just spending time together in a room, or whether that's going out and doing something like hiking, or, or you know, anything like that. But I'm not really a person to go out and party or, you know, do too much extra stuff. So I guess you could say I have a weird way of having fun because I put academics and uh, sports before anything else. Yeah, I think one of the the funnier things about you, or, or one thing that a lot of people notice, is that your GPA coming out of high school. Uh, it might have been higher than your yards per carry. I mean, you don't have to run into running backs like that. What, what, what was it like a 4.6, 3.7, 6.7? I mean, uh, how much pride do you have to take in school in order to get a 4.67 GPA? Um, I don't know if, it, I think it started off with fear because uh, growing up, my parents said, you can't go to practice. You can't do, you know, you can't go to practice if your homework wasn't done. Uh, you're not going to play in the next game if you have a C. Uh, so stuff like that growing up. And I love the game so much that I had no option but to, you know, study hard or else uh, I wasn't going to be able to play. And so that was that was kind of what set in uh, when I was six, seven, eight years old growing up, playing the game. And then it just grew on me. And um, through high school, through, you know, uh, middle school, I just got paranoid of having Bs or, C, you know, just any grade lower than an A, so it just pushed me to do what I can to make sure that my grades were higher. And um, yeah, I really began to took pri take pride in that. And just like I take pride in uh, football mm -hmm. and everything I do in football, and I, I just the two go hand in hand. And, and you know, I love the game and I, I love uh, education. And it's it all started with my family, though. Last one for me. I mean, I'm just curious. What, what, what's the eight months in Boise been like for you? I mean, uh, getting a chance to play right away, being out on your own. Mm -hmm. You know, just what what have the last eight months been like for you? Man, it's been that long. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, first first it was it's pretty rough coming in here, jumping into the uh, summer bridge program and the practices and um, all of that just kind of hit me hit me hard just because it was new to me and it was so consistent that. Um, it just kind of helped discipline me and um, let me know that you know college. This is real life now. This is real life, and um, I'm loving real life right now because uh, the experience. First off, Boise is an amazing place. The environment, the people, um, just everything about it is just amazing. So I don't really, I don't really have a, a explanation of how it is to be here besides amazing and the support from the community, the support from the coaches just makes it all that much easier and uh, the, it's a great program and I love what we do here and what we're about and um, it's just been an amazing experience. Yeah, one more and just that's, uh, you know, we talk about you being a student athlete and doing work in the classroom, but for you, what what is the football field for you and do you have a moment that kind of stands out from your, your freshman season? I don't know whether it be the BYU guy you ran over or any of that stuff, but um, well, to me, to me, it's a way of life. Um, I don't know how other people take the game of football, but for me, it's a it's a part of me. And uh, if that were to go missing, you know, that's that's a piece of me that's missing, that's gone. And uh, so that's why I make sure I do whatever I can to keep it in my life. And um, just being out there on the field is is a, is a special feeling. Uh, I don't think anyone can relate until they get out there and feel that rush but um, from my freshman season I'm not sure there's an, an exact moment that I can uh, that I can pinpoint because I took all of it in and, it, and it, it was all just such a blessing to be out there first off at a division one program uh, one that's great like Boise State is just just an honor and just a blessing and um, just take away everything that I, I was able to experience and going to make sure that I do what I can to work and get better. Yeah. You, know, you look at the, the last couple of running backs, J.H.I., 2,300 yards as a junior, Jeremy McNichols, over 2,000 total yards last year as a junior. What, what, what comes to mind when you think of that and, and, and maybe being the next? Mm -hmm. uh, 
Well, yeah, they're like you said, those, those are great players that you named, and um, being able to witness it and being able to learn from someone that has, was going through, you know, an outstanding performance. Um, to me, you know, it's just just motivation to be better. Um, I know that uh, Doug Martin went first round. I know that Jay Jai was drafted and he's starting now in the league. I know that Jeremy McNichols has declared to uh, enter the draft, and uh, I know that all of those positions, uh, whether better or in the same position, would be something that I want to accomplish one day. And uh, I just want to strive and work hard to, you know, surpass anyone that was before me. Good one. Thanks, man.